welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Okay, well, I got a, I got a very controversial story today. You see the guy in the picture when the uh, Seattle protest slash rebellion slash riot, and the guy in the picture is he a villain or is he a hero? What does he look like? Well, this is how the story goes. The guy in the picture runs security ex-military he's with the camera crew making sure nobody hurts the camera crew because the camera crew they're there if they see something crazy the camera crew's gonna say hey let's go take a picture and and they and he's got to do security make sure they don't get hurt so we're in the middle of a riot protest rebellion and they watch some men steal guns out of a police car, some rifles. So this is where it gets funky. This is what really hurts my stomach. He stops running security for the camera crew. Tells them, you're on your own till I get back. I'm not going to let these guys steal these guns from the police and because they might shoot somebody because they're looting, stealing TVs, gym shoes, everything. So I'm going to go stop this. I'm a hero. So he goes over, sneaks up on some of my guys that uh, surrounded the police car, took the guns out, puts his gun, says, I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. Drop those guns. Snatches the gun, the uh, rifle away from him. Goes back to his camera crew. Minutes later, a second police car gets broken into. So once again, for a second time, he tells his camera crew that he is running security for. You're on your own. I'm going to go police the neighborhood. And I'm going to go take these guns away for these looters. He goes, he does it again. He pulls, pu walks up nice and quiet, sneaks up, pulls his pistol out. I'm going to blow your brains out. Give me that gun. Snatches the gun from him. So the next day, he's a hero. He disarmed two looters that stole guns from police cars. He's a hero. I don't think so. First of all, you're fired. You're fired. You left the people you supposed supposed to protect to go engage criminals. You something happened. He just said, "Oh, I have to engage." It's hundreds of people. You don't know who has a gun underneath their coat. Like you had your gun underneath your coat. You don't know who got a gun. Oh, I'm going to engage. I'm going to pull my pistol. I'm going to blow your brains out. You don't comply. Now, it turned out good. Because some people would have had a guy pulling a gun on them. Robbing them. And they would have went head up with them. And said, I don't know who you are. You're not a cop. I think you're a psycho. I'm just going to take my chance, go head up. We're going to see who can pull the trigger fast enough. And, and uh, he had a little bit of courage. He said he had a body plate with a body armor plate. So I, I, I guess he, he thought that gave him the power to go out and police the neighborhood. See, this, this is the problem we got. You're not the police. You're a security guard. But they're, they're spinning this to he's the hero of the day. So here's my second problem. I, I can't let this go by. I can't let him be the hero of the day. 
Because in my world, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be 10 people that's want to there want to be just like him. It's going to be 10 people want to be just like him. They're going to go down there and pull a gun on somebody and tell them you cuz you have to comply. Do what I say or I'll blow your brains out. And they're going to be shooting people in the street. And the security guard said he had to engage these people. He had to stop the threat. You're in the middle of a protest, rebellion, riot. Everyone is a threat. Who has a gun? It's a secret. The police could have shot you. Nobody knows anything. You're going, you're taking people into danger. Here, let's listen to what he had to say keep space and distance so that I had uh, security for me and my team, which I actually put my team in more danger than they ever were during the, the before and after that, because you're, you're saying by, by engaging with these guys, you expose them to more danger. Oh, uh, 100%. And, um, they knew that. And one of them made a tactical decision for them to split off for their safety and the other made a decision to stick with me and uh, to get him to safety, and I got him to safety. Um, he listened, he followed me, it was great. The other made their decision, and they handled it, they did it, and it worked out great for them. And once I got those rifles back in, I linked back up with them and consolidated and went back out. Okay, he admitted it himself. He put, he's supposed to be running security. He put everybody in danger because he draw too much attention to himself. You supposed to stay low key. If something happens, get out of there. You don't supposed to go out and engage in police while you're down there. You're not a policeman. You're not. See, that's the problem we have now. We we were protesting because we have police that love to pull the trigger. Trigger happy. Trigger happy. They they engage on anything, argue with you, and pull the trigger on you. And he was emulating the people were protesting. So he admitted he admitted he was wrong. He drew too much attention. I want everybody out there. Oh, I was gonna go to the next protest and police the area. Yeah, yeah, we're the militia. We're gonna police the area. Oh, I'm going to double tap everybody still on the TV. Get that shit out of your head right now. Shut it down. Sit at home and watch it on television. A person's life is worth more than personal property or a building. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, my city's burning up. I can't take this. The police are my friend. Well, that's because they haven't shot you or choked you or sat on your head for eight minutes. That's because they, that's why they're your friend. Stop tearing our country apart. That goes both ways, don't it? I mean, it, I, one I, is one antagonizes the other and the yeah. other antagonizes the other. Two yeah. wrong, all right, two wrong, all right, I'll put it this way. Stop tearing our countries apart because two wrongs don't make a right. What happened to George Floyd was wrong. What, uh, what the rioters and looters and, you know, the violent seekers, the ones who were getting shooting and doing all that, that's wrong. So yeah. you're wrong, or they're, the first wrong doesn't justify the second. So right. why would you uh, escalate that instead of do what the great, one of the greatest examples that we have, or two of them, Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. There's your standard. Right. There's your standard, and they affected real change, not just in their own country, but in the world. Okay, now did you hear what he just said? Stop tearing the country up. Why? We're in the middle of a riot rebellion. It's a new day. We want change. We're tired of the police pulling the trigger every day 
for any damn thing on anybody. Oh, I forgot. No, you get a free pass to shoot black people. It's free pass. Oh, you shot a black guy? No problem. Oh, uh, he was drunk. Yeah. He was a drunk. Uh, he was on drugs. We'll say we'll just say anything. Stop tearing up my country. Well, I think it's it, the country's already broken. It's already torn up. Then the next thing he goes into Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Now I love that was what you call a mind fuck. He just did a mind fuck on you. He goes into peaceful Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Oh, we shall overcome. And during the interview, he just said he was out of Baghdad. Now, you, is he over in Baghdad singing we shall overcome? Or is he double tapping people every day? So it's, it's OK to go out, double tap people and uh, drone strike. Then, then, oh, but when we're some trouble at home, oh, be quiet, be nice. It's this is not the way to settle things. You know, it's okay to kill others, but but not not the people in, at home. Now you see these hillbillies and these fruit loops in this picture right here. Security guard, these are the people I need you to disarm. These hillbillies and fruit loops and Confederate soldiers went up to my state capitol, surrounded it, fully armed body, body armor, and told the governor and the legislative body they hate them and they're going to kill them because they feel like they're trapped in their house on this stay-at-home pandemic. They And they, they said they're going to kill them. Now, these are the guys I want you to disarm. This is the, I need help. Send help. Send that security guard over. Send help right now. I need that security guard. I got 200 armed men saying they're going to kill me. So, so I, this guy, he gets two thumbs down. I can't handle this guy. Two thumbs down. Leave the gun at home, watch the riot on TV. Adios, machachos.